any society is probably as prosperous and as developed uh, and happy as its healthcare system and central to any meaningful development planning must be a plan to improve access to quality, reliable, functional and affordable healthcare for the citizens. Mr. President has in several public statements made it clear that a modern, viral and people-centric healthcare system was fundamental to his own vision for the socioeconomic growth of our nation. However, the current reality is that the Nigerian health sector, and we've heard uh, uh, quite a bit of, on that from the Honorable Minister of Health, still carries some critical challenges which have resulted in suboptimal outcomes when compared uh, especially with uh, healthcare systems in more developed uh, jurisdictions of the world. This is due to a, ver a, ver a variety of factors, including fragmentation of healthcare service, de health service delivery, insufficient healthcare financing, inadequate motivation and poor distribution of health workers, inadequate infrastructure and equipment, and relatively low private sector participation. And some of these factors have precipitated significant revenue loss due to growing medical tourism, and even the loss of our trained personnel, and that is a, is a, is, is, is a frightening phenomenon even now. Government has the primary responsibility to address these issues and to put in place the structures and arrangements necessary to boost the efficiency of the healthcare ecosystem, improve healthcare delivery, stem the brain drain of our health personnel, and reduce the pressure you know, that, that we currently have on our foreign reserves on account of medical tourism. In furtherance of that objective, Mr. President approved the establishment of this Health Reform Committee to commence the development and implementation of a wide-ranging health sector reform program for the country. And we already have uh, the terms of reference. And there have, of course, been a good number of attempts to reform the healthcare system in Nigeria. And of course, many of us who are uh, members designate the of this uh, committee are familiar with some of these reform efforts. But this particular journey of reforming the Nigerian health sector, and we've heard, uh, I think, quite comprehensively on that from the Honorable Minister of Health, uh, began with uh, the commissioning of a diagnostic needs assessment of the sector, and subsequently the National Council on Privatization, at its meeting of April 12, 2019, also approved the appointment of consultants to carry out the assignment. And this involved a review of previous reform efforts in the sector, as well as field visits to 55 tertiary health institutions across the country and some selected sub-regional health institutions. It's perhaps also important to mention that a series of stakeholder consultations were carried out with relevant ministries, departments and agencies, health unions and key stakeholders in the sector. So the report of that comprehensive effort uh, is probably what has brought us to where we are today. As mandated by uh, Mr. President, the Health Sector Reform Committee is tasked with the crucial role of reviewing these reports and steering the direction of the needed reforms. On account of the multi-sectoral and multidisciplinary participation that is required to execute a health reform mandate on the scale and the, and the complexity uh, that we have today, I'm personally keen to ensure that the coordinating office for the reform effort which is domiciled in the office of the Vice President, will not just have the Ministry of Health, of course, the Ministry of Health is the important partner, but also some of the important technical resource persons provided by our partners. And of course, you know, the uh, solid representation also from, from the committee. The coordinating office will provide technical and, and, and administrative oversight of all of the activities of the reform. And I intend to have uh, further consultation to the Honourable Minister of Health as we bring uh, this to fruition. So the next steps, uh, and I think the Honourable Minister of Health again had uh, 
had uh, presaged uh, some of what uh, this will what will happen is that this committee will then be divided into thematic working groups to take on various aspects of the assignment. We've received commitment of funding support to engage experts who will also be assigned by the Secretariat to the various teams. So in addition to members, we'll also have uh, uh, sector experts uh, for the thematic groups who uh, will be engaged, uh, these will be professionals who will be engaged to support uh, the thematic groups themselves. I hope that at the next meeting of the committee, which will be convened shortly, the proposals for the thematic groupings and terms of reference will be presented for consideration. Ahead of that, uh, ahead of that, we will send uh, around uh, these uh, thematic groupings, the names, uh, terms of reference, etc. ahead of this meeting. So if there are comments or questions, those can be raised uh, forwarded to the uh, coordinating office and if there's any additional uh, if there are any additional ideas those could also be forwarded but at the next meeting uh, there will be a quick uh, run through of uh, the thematic groupings and what uh, their task will be and um, we'll at least satisfy ourselves that we are on the right track following that each team will commence work and periodic reports will be presented as time goes on for our full committee's uh, consideration. So let me thank in advance all members of the committee for offering their time and resources for this very important national assignment. And uh, I hope that um, just as you committed yourselves to this, uh, as time goes on, we will, uh, of course, demand more and more of your time and, um, of course, more and more of your expertise. And I hope that you will be uh, willing to, to provide all that expertise, but uh, only to say for now that uh, we, we really all thank you very much for your contribution so far, and uh, we hope that um, we'll see even more dedication and commitment as we go along. It's therefore my very special privilege and uh, honor to inaugurate uh, this Health Sector Reform Committee for the benefit of the people of Nigeria and to the glory of God. I thank you all for your attention.